Yo, what is going on guys, Ncooch here and today I'm gonna be showing you a guide to all 46 known calcified fragment locations. Also, in the top right corner of the screen, there will be the fragment number in Roman numerals. So go ahead and launch up the Dreadnought mission, and this is where you first start off. Now what you want to do is jump down onto this dirt mount, and there will be a fragment sitting right there. That is number 16. Now for the next fragment, go all the way to the other side of this open area, and at the very end there will be a hallway on your right hand side. Go in, and it will be at the very left side. That will be number 17. For the next one, you want to race back to the middle of this area, take a left, and then go up all of these jumping platforms. What you want to do to activate them is pull out your ghost. Now get to the top side, turn left, and then once you're there, pull out your ghost yet again and more platforms will spawn. What you want to do is just climb aboard every single one of them, go to the very top, and once you make it to the room, um, all the way up there, hidden in the shadows, what you want to do is take a left and it'll be hiding right in this corner. Once you get number 20, you're going to want to make your way over back to where you came from and go to the other side of the ledge. Pull out your ghost and a platform will spawn leading you to another platform that takes you inside a dark room. It's going to be on your right side and that is fragment number 19. Continue along with the path and then you're going to see a metal gate to your left hand side. Adjacent to that, you're going to see three broken down pillars. Jump on top of them for fragment number 15. Continuing on with the path, go through the two small holes, make your way over to these three broken down pillars and that is number 14. Follow in my footsteps, go through this hole on top of the pillars and to the room on the right hand side with the pillars. Make your way through the pillars and on the back hand side, you will find fragment number 12. Follow my footsteps yet again, we're going to go to Court of Oryx, this time on the right hand side there's going to be a pillar you have to hop onto, and there will be calcified fragment number 13 just hanging off the side of it. Continue on with the path and we're going to go up top to the platform up there, what you want to do is pull out your ghost, hop on the platforms, and make your way up there for fragment number 11. Next on our list is fragment number 10 and guys I do realize that this clip may be a little bit hard to follow because it is sped up to say the least. You can go inside the video player on YouTube and actually slow down the speed or just rewatch the video. Uh, what you want to do is go through the cave and then go through the series of tunnels that follows, stick left and on the right hand side there's going to be the fragment right behind a pillar. That is number 10. Now this next one requires you to start at Court of Oryx, go straight ahead, go right, go through the cave, go through the tunnel, go through another tunnel, and finally you're going to get to a room that does damage to you. What you need is either a super, a relic, or a sword to give you increased health. This will give you enough time to open up the chest and pick up fragment number 35. Very difficult one, but if you have a sword or a super that gives you increased health, you can open up the chest without dying. If you go in blind, you're gonna die. It's that simple, guys. For the next one, what you want to do is launch up patrol on Dreadnought and then make your way over to the right side and start scaling up these, uh, these pillars that are just... I guess lodged outside of another pillar, uh, pick up that ghost, that is number 8, and then what you want to do is drop down to your left hand side and go all the way to the bottom. Now go inside the cave, turn left, and make another left and there's actually going to be a calcified fragment, that is number 7 hiding in the corner. Follow my path to get to calcified fragment number 9. This is probably the easiest one out of every single one of them, it's just lodged between these two pillars right outside the huge cabal ship. For the next one, go to the right hand side of the map and then go to the cave that is furthest on the left. What you're going to do is go through a series of more tunnels, I know there's a lot of them, and just follow in my footsteps and you'll get yourself fragment number 6.
Once you picked up the fragment, make your way outside of exactly where you came from, and if you go to the right towards the mausoleum, there's actually going to be a calcified fragment hidden on the left side in a metal... Um, some kind of metal structure, but there it is, that's number 5, and then continue on to the mausoleum, and then as soon as you get over there, you're gonna wanna take a left, and on the left hand side, underneath the Cabal ship, will be another fragment, and that is actually fragment number 4. Turn around and head over to the large light on the back side of the map. What you want to do is jump down onto this smaller platform, pull out your ghost, jump on top of the platforms that keep appearing and disappearing, and once you're at the very end, there's going to be a fragment, and that's actually number one in the corner right there. Go back over to the center of the mausoleum, and on the right hand side, there's going to be two doors. Now, I highlighted them because my walkthrough wasn't very, you know, um, very thorough. So, we're going to be entering the right door first, then we're going to be making our way to the one dead ahead of us. So, just keep that in mind, guys. Right, then we're going to the one straight ahead. So, let's go over to the right hand side right now, and we're going to pick up fragment number two. Once you enter, go to the left hand side, and that's it's actually going to be behind this structure i don't know what to call it but hey there's fragment number two now go over to the door i was talking about the one in the center go over to the left hand side and there's going to be a chest here or maybe not but jump on top there's going to be fragment number three but hold on if you stay inside this room for about a minute your screen's going to start glowing and surely after you're going to get scent of the worm you're going to have a one minute timer and start sprinting your ass off as fast as you can over to the pillar all the way at the end close to the light you can obviously use the platforms by pulling out your ghost but this is much faster it's a little bit of a cheese so make your way over here and collect the loot for fragment number 34 you do not have much time do not worry about the thralls you can't kill them but make sure you're very quick because that chest is pretty difficult to get because you're on a timer Next up, you want to launch the Sunless Cell Strike where you're fighting Darkblade, and the first fragment known as fragment number 22 will be right behind this cage. It's a very, very simple pickup, and uh, it's in the founts if you need any additional info. Uh, the next one's actually right on this side over here. Jump on top of this object, that's all I'm going to call it, jump on top of the second object, and it'll be sitting right there in front of number 3 object, and that's actually fragment number 22. Now going over to fragment number 23, just jump down, go over to the left side, and it's actually going to be behind um, this broken down pillar, whatever it's called, but there's a calcified fragment right inside there. Next up, if you move on on the left side, there's going to be a fragment on this support beam on the left side. Uh, it's pretty sneaky. You've got to jump all the way down there and continue on. This actually in the asylum. Uh pretty far before the Darkblade encounter itself. And there's actually another uh, calcified fragment very close there. What you want to do is pull your ghost while on the support beam, and then you can jump on top of these disappearing and appearing platforms. What you want to do is guide yourself underneath the, uh, the bridge, and there's actually going to be a place where you can jump on in and pick up the calcified fragment. That is going to be fragment number 25. Fragment number 26 is actually going to be close to the very end of the Sunless Cell Strike. What you want to do is, once you enter this room with a lot of hanging things, they look like chandeliers, you're going to jump on top of this ledge on the left hand side, and there's your fragment. Next up, there's actually going to be one fragment number 28 in the Shield Brothers Strike. This is after the tank. Go to the right hand side of this room and look through the rubble, and it'll be right there. A very simple pickup. Next up, you want to start up the Regicide story mission, go through the portal, and turn around. There's actually going to be a fragment sitting behind one of these pillars. Very, very sneaky indeed. Um, shout out to the person who found that one. That seems like such an easy spot that you'd easily, easily miss. Once you get over to this part where you have to pull out your ghost and jump across uh, using the jumping puzzle or the disappearing platforms, go over to the left-hand side of the stairs, and that's going to be fragment number 7 18 that's what it is 18 
The next one's very simple. Number 46 just requires you to, to complete the Nightfall. Doesn't matter which one, as soon as you finish it, you're gonna get the Calcified Fragment. The next five are during the King's Fall Raid. If you're not high enough level, make sure you get leveled up if you want these. This one's right before you enter the War Priest fight, and uh, the fight right before the War Priest as well. Uh, right before the Grav Lift, as soon as you get off the ship where you have to take down the wall. The next one's as soon as as you enter into this room it's sitting right there on a pillar very simple for number 30 number 31 is actually in the Golgoroth cellar as soon as you enter you take your very first left turn once you do that take your very next first left turn and there's gonna be a little bit of a door with uh, rocks on the side look on the right hand side of the rocks and there will be fragment number 31 Number 32 is actually once you beat Golgoroth himself, um, pretty much stick to the left hand side and you're going to get to a dead end. There's going to be a rock structure over here, jump on top, and that's going to be fragment number 32 for you guys. And then number 33 is actually going to be right as soon as you enter into this jumping puzzle part. Uh, what you want to do is pick up the fragment that's directly below the starting part of the jumping puzzle. So very straightforward right there. Next up, we have the Skyburner's Chain of Events. What you want to do is kill Cabal on the Dreadnought until you get the Skyburner's Command Beacon. Once you get that, you're going to want to put it into that console, and what you're going to have to do is just kill something or run somewhere and do something, blah blah blah, very easy. Then it's going to give you a Skyburner's Command Codes. What you do with these codes is run over to the mausoleum and enter into this uh, small window in the ship, place it into this, oh uh, sorry, it's actually called deployment codes. So place it into that console and once you do that, it's gonna be a little bit of a time trial and a boss kill. Once you kill them, you're gonna get exactly what I have called the security pass, Skyburner's security pass. So what you wanna do then is open up this door and that will reveal a chest that also requires the security pass. Now you cannot open up this chest if one of your buddies opens up the door, you absolutely have have to go through with this little chain of events so make sure you kill cabal if you want to start this up Next up is fragment number 38. Now you get this one by opening up chests on the dreadnought that require a key of blank. Now this key will depend on what you get once you finish uh, a little series of events. First up you have to kill Hive on the dreadnought. They will then drop the Worm Singer's Rune. Place it into, into the console that I just did or any other on the dreadnought and then a champion will spawn. In my case it was an ogre. He dropped me a Worm Feeder Rune and what this requires requires you to do is get 50 kills on the dreadnought and deaths will reset your progress. So as you can see in just a second I'm about to get my 50th kill on the dreadnought and this will give me a random key. This random key will give me my calcified fragment. Once you get this one chest open you will not have to open anymore. So all you gotta do is just one chest, remember that guys. Now I got the key of EIR, I don't know how to, the, how to pronounce that so I won't. Um, also I do not have a guide on each chest location which is unfortunate guys, I know. Pretty much just look around on patrol until you find it. And as you can see, there is fragment number 38 that I just got from the chest. Fragment number 36 requires you to open up the chest of a Gonarch. Now pretty much how to get a fully charged Agonarch rune is to go into one of the blights on patrol. They spawn in mausoleum and at the very spawn location of patrol dreadnought. You want to go inside and pretty much as soon as you kill the last boss that uh, that comes out of the blight, you will get a Agonarch rune with one out of seven charges. You can only get one out of seven charges per day per character. Throw it in the vault, go on your other characters, and do the same thing. You can get three per day, which means in three days, you can finish the charging. Once that's done, go over to this location that I'm at. It's along the Dark Blade Strike. Kill everything that you see, and once you're done killing everything, uh, you're gonna spawn you're gonna see a chest that spawns in this water. What you wanna do is pick it up, and that will be fragment number 36. Pretty simple. 
Calcified Fragment number 50 will require you to go to the Court of Oryx and summon an event. Once you complete the event, you're gonna get a bounty that's a special Taken King version, and there's gonna be multiple steps involved. Once you're done, you can go ahead and redeem it like I do right now, and as you can see, you get Calcified Fragment number 50. Pretty simple stuff. While we're on the topic of Court of Oryx, you can also get number 39, 40, 41, and 42 from Tier 2 Court of Oryx. Note, you have to be the one to summon the event with a stolen rune to have a chance at getting these calcified fragments. Best recommendation is to buy stolen runes from Iris Morn once you're rank 5 with her. The last two known fragments are from the tier 3 bosses. Now this week we have Crota, but last week was Kagor, and these two bosses dropped two separate sets of calcified fragments. So number 49 is from Kagor, which was last week's, and this week when we're fighting um, Crota, we have number 47. I believe number 48 will be next week's boss, so every boss has a different fragment to drop. Remember, you have to be the one to put in the antiquated rune to get a chance at the actual fragment drop but that's really it guys that is 46 fragments the locations and guide to all of them i hope you all enjoyed and found all of them for the touch of malice drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more daily destiny content and as always and cool shout yeah if I ever said I'm